So now, see, so I adjusted the brakes, I checked, yep, electrical equipment is off, avionics, that's the switch is off, fuel selector bar is on both, the fuel shutoff bar is all the way in, and avionics, circuit breakers, all circuit breakers are checked in. All right, so that completes the before start check. Mm -hmm. So, um, I'm going to um, I'd like to get 80s before I start the engine. Yep. So, so that's nothing to expect. So, I'm going to switch on master switch and avionics. Beacon and it's on. So this plane has started earlier today, so I'm going to go straight to ignition. Uh, you've got to keep uh, case on the ring already. All right, and see if that works. Clear prop. Clear prop. Speaker off. Right, flaps retracted and circuit breakers all checked, and that completes the after start checklist. So, I'm going to switch to ground 121.9. Okay, put the GPS on. So, 121.9. Uh, we're there, and I'm going to uh, request clearance for taxi for departure. I'm, I'm, I'm at the Bowser. Yep. 
from the ground, Alpha Hotel Hotel, Cessna 172 Jewel at the Belsa, request taxi clearance for uh, departure with information Delta. Alpha Hotel Hotel, ground taxi holding point Alpha 06. Taxi to holding point Alpha, runway 06, Alpha Hotel Hotel. Okay. Cleared for taxi. Okay, let's go and Don't start we... on Lena Mix. I'll probably do. Yep. All right. So let's taxi. All clear around us. Just going to go a little bit to the left. Not too much. Don't want to hit that yep. wing. Yep, that's good. Clear the right side. Now you're clear. Turning. I wish they get rid of all this shit at yeah, the front of his hangar. There's plenty of others supposed to put that stuff. All right, so back to the regular yep. circuit, I mean, um, taxiway to get to holding point off on. On to Charlie. I don't remember seeing a better day in terms of visibility. I was like this yesterday too, that's why we're trying to get all the flying done today because I think tomorrow and Thursday doesn't look as good. Yeah, and there's a bushfire down there. Yes. Alright, so my instrument's looking good. Temperature's good. Just check my brakes. Yep. 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 Check mine. Yep, good. The last time I was here, there was a problem with the tower radio. Was that fixed, like the next uh, day? I hope so. Just slow down a bit. Yep. Yep, bring the power back rather than riding the brakes. All clear. And six to Halaska is uh, 2.5 miles to run. Is there a possibility that I could uh, do a uh, demonstrate a circle to land onto 2.4? Oh, idiot. 2.4. Okay, you see that dotted blue line is your two miles? Yep. You can see how the two mile ring around the aircraft is almost smack bang right. over it. Exactly. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So that's um, a two miles. Right, so uh, before takeoff, parking brake is set. 
passenger seats and seat bags are upright, definitely upright and secured. Cabin doors locked. Flight controls. Elevators. Ailerons. All free and. Um, uh, where was I? Yeah. Close and look. Um, yeah. Free and correct. So flight instruments. Set uh, a, a, a um, QNH 1019. 1019. Compass. We are on 33 three exactly. Directional indicator set. Um, uh, the visual horizon looks good. Uh, other instruments looking all good. Alright, fuel quantity uh, checked. We refueled earlier. We've got at least. Uh, with, uh, uh, Charlie, with you, with you, uh, intentions the approaches at 150 liters. And, uh, yeah. The right tank looks fuel, uh, full. Actually, uh, so that's 95, uh, and we got 15 in the other. Yep. So we, we've got about 180. That's alright, 180. Oh, yeah, landed on 24. That's weird. Okay. Mixture. I'm gonna move this to rich. That's my whole issue. If we had a taxi down there, you'd have to reverse and taxi back up 06. But anyway, yeah. let's not worry about it. It's taking off. Fuel selector valve is on both. Uh, mixture is rich. So throttle. I'm going to do the 1,800 feet. Oh, sorry, RPM check. Yep. All right, feet on the brakes, 1,800. Okay. Magnetos check. That's both left. A hundred drop. Both right. Yeah, about a hundred drop. So magnetos are good. Back to both. Vacuum. In the grain. Engine instruments and amp meters. So the amp meter is on the zero. And I can see the fuel flow is good. I don't see other panel. Check. Throttle, I'll check idle. Yep, idle check. A thousand up here. Okay, a thousand RPM, good. Throttle friction lock. Just gonna make it a little looser. That's better. Strobe lights on. Radios and avionics. Uh, so we've got ground at the moment and the standby for tower. And on the other one, we've got uh, um, we've got ages on both. Uh, so this is yeah, that Sydney. Be. Hey, Charlie, uh, with you conducting the bubble smash. Okay, Charlie, whiskey, thanks. Remain this frequency, fly the published missed approach and report uh, when uh, ready to downgrade VFR. So that's Sydney the center, 124.5. Yeah. Yeah. So you use the outer knob to change the frequency on the standby? Yeah. Outer and inner. Outer does that, inner does that. Oh, yes. Okay, yeah. the, the dispatch. Okay, so radio severe on Control zone climbing, please for takeoff, Alpha. Just going to reduce my volume a little. Yep. The outer one is a volume. Okay, navigation, GPS, autopilot, manual electric trim, um, not used. Elevator trim, set for takeoff. Uh, flaps, set to zero. Okay, the takeoff safety briefing. So I'm gonna do this. So, um, uh, today we're taking off from runway 06. If there is uh, any of the following issues during takeoff, I'm going to abort the takeoff. If I'm unable to reach 60, knots of uh, 
rotation speed to push me down the wrong way. Or, sorry if I'm unable to reach 2,250. Uh, 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 yeah, 2,250 static RPMs. If I have any of the indicators not in the green or have spikes in temperature or pressure, or if I have any noises uh, from the cabin or the engine, uh, rattling noises, unusual noises, then I will abort the takeoff. I'll do that by taking, putting throt uh, throttle to idle, applying brakes and as necessary, and then exiting the runway. Um, if I if I have power loss uh, during takeoff with runway remaining, I will lower the nose and uh, to avoid stall. Set throttle to idle, reland the aircraft, uh, apply brakes as, as needed, and exit the runway. If I have um, power loss after takeoff without any runway remaining, then I will uh, uh, set the altitude of the plane so that I can get to glide speed, which is 68 knots, and look for a suitable landing location within 30 degrees of the nose of the plane and, and land the aircraft. Uh, I will not turn back to the runway under any circumstances unless I'm at at least a thousand feet uh, above ground or established downwind. Uh, and then uh, in those in those two cases, I will attempt to reach the runway. Uh, I will always uh, set altitude to uh, get to 68 knots of glide speed and use flaps as necessary. And that's the, um, the safety briefing. Uh, and finally, the departure briefing. So today we're using runway 06, uh, weather is good, we've got a viable 5 knot wind, um, which uh, means that I'll be definitely be checking the wind sock uh, on approach and landing later on. Uh, there's also a tailwind of 5 knots as well. Uh, there is, uh, well, we're not going to be here, so circuits and circuit traffic doesn't really matter that much. Um, I don't think there's any uh, glide activity. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll s on, on approach, I think we're going to try a couple of different things. I'm not sure exactly how it's going to work out, but weather is expected to remain as it is now, so I don't expect any surprises. And that uh, concludes the departure briefing. Okay. Oh, we're going to go? Let's Ready? go. So I'm going to release brakes. And there's no traffic. Right, let's go. So there's going to be a crosswind departure, which is what I'm going to. Let tower know. Yep. The mix is leaned. Close your window before you do the call. Yep. Alright, I'm going to set the mix rich now before I forget. Uh, so uh, about a thousand. Thousand up here. Yeah. So I'm going to check the directional indicator one more time. It still looks good. QNH is good. Yep. Bug. Alright. Piece and piece in the green. Alright. So that's all good. I've got my nav lights on now as well, strobe is on, the beacon is on. Alright, so switch to ground, sorry, to Terra. Increase the volume a little. Yep. And uh, Come to Tower, Alpha Hotel Hotel, 40 point Alpha, one way zero six, ready for crosswind departure. Alpha Hotel, Hotel, Channel, Cleat for takeoff. Cleat for takeoff, Alpha Hotel, Hotel. All clear on the left. Alright, so he didn't actually tell you to depart crosswind, but yeah, that's quite you said it. that's what you're going to do, yeah. so you should still do it. Gupta will definitely tell you to depart crosswind. Yeah, everyone has got their priorities, I guess they are their yeah. habits. Alright, let's go. Let's go. 
full throttle. Airspeed is alive. P's and P's in the green. 15 knots now. 55. And 60 knots and rotate. I just increased my volume a little. Yeah, okay. Runway behind us. Pitch down. Get my 75 knots. Good trim. All good. Heading is good. Uh, 1600 feet. Pitch up. Get my glide speed to <laughs> Get my climb speed better. Clear right, clear center, and clear left, 15 degree turn, bit of right rudder. Right 1900 feet, continue the climb, continue the turn, 1000 feet, 1100. A bit of more with the turn. Coming out of the climb now. 1300. Okay, leveling off and trim. Let the speed pick up a little. Trim and reduce to 2200 RPM. 2300. 2300, sorry. Yep. yep. All right. So we are almost out. Almost yeah, so we'll just hold this. Yeah. Uh, we can't see our twin peaks, unfortunately, but they're, they're a good reference point. Always look a bit hard now. We're a bit far out. Yep. So you see that river we've just... Yep. Ah, this river just here? Yep. That's definitely beyond the two mile mark. You see, we're just passing we just it now. It. All right. So to be absolutely safe, I usually use that that river. So I can actually climb now. Yes. So full throttle, and I'm going to use best climb speed. Climb. So pitch up. I can actually now also change my yes. heading yes. north. I'm going to go yeah, to just, north. Just come on the north. Yep. And uh, I guess time to listen to... Yeah, so you're going to go to COMP2. COMP2. Alright, right, but you need to push that one. Oh. Oh. Now I can't hear our camp to do. That's alright, at the moment. Right. So, so there's that little horse track just down there, that's Mayfield. Oh yeah, see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. A bit hard to see when you're on the other side. When you're coming from... Yes. The opposite direction. So we'll just climb up to two and a half today. All right. I uh, haven't really achieved my best climb speed, so I'll do it now. So 2,000. And I'm tracking north. Now I'm going to track to the northern part of the training area, and then we're going to come back to Brinjelli. Every 500 feet, I'll oh, put the nose down. Yep, that's check. good. All clear. A single plane inside, and then pitch up again. All right, do you see the um, brick pits just over there? Yes. Yeah. Right, that's a good marker for Brinjelli. Brinjelli is just the other side of it. Yep. All right, that's my good climb speed, 75 knots. You've also got a couple of lakes just over there. It's yes. like the L-shaped lake at the back here. Yeah. It sort of says, "Here's Brinjelli. I'm just before Brinjelli." Got it. But we'll approach it from the north, just so you can see it from the north. Okay. Oh, there's a plane up there. What? Oh, I must be doing turns. Yeah, up 12 o'clock higher. Yep, sighted. Yeah, Let's level off. Level off here, yeah. Traffic on board. Yep. So 2300 up here. Yep, that's good. Just look over there. You see where the northern road is going underneath Brinjelli Road? Uh, yes, it's just, the be, just behind the um, strut there. Yep. That's Brinjelli. So it's all like 
near the brickworks. Yes. Uh, Delta Vector Foxtrot, safety alert, there's an airspace infringement, you're right, one o'clock position, crossing right to left. Alright, now look at all these aircraft around us. This is why I don't like coming too far up here. Our aircraft approaching 2RM from the southwest, 2,800 feet, can you summon? They could be us. Uh, no, 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 no. 2RM's over there. Juliet, Delta, Charlie, Squawk, Ida, and advise altitude. We haven't changed our squawk, yeah. really. Uh, oh, yeah, so push, push that. Just press the... Oh. Yeah? Yeah, oh, I could say VFR. Yeah. 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 Right. Chill it, Delta, Charlie, copy. Uh, just your yeah, RPMs drop. Why oh, is that? No good reason. Yeah, you've subconsciously yeah. pulled it out. All right, so I'm at two and a half thousand. All right, so, so this is a Northern Road here. Traffic. Yes. It, it right leads you to Brinjelli. At night, it's a be it's a beacon to Camden. Really good. Good luck. Juliet, Delta, Charlie, can you squawk ident, please? Squawk ident. Yeah, if you had to do that, you would just go there, you see... Oh, right. ...that ident, you would hit that. Juliet, Delta, uh, Charlie, thank you. So that would send a signal to whoever asked me yeah, to do that. Yeah, now we've got an aeroplane, supposedly just 100 feet above us, so let's just descend a little. Right. Oh, no, hang on. Wait on, it's below us now. Wait, don't descend. Yep. 2300 up here. Still tracking north. Right, we've got one over behind us at about 600. We've got one just over here at 300 feet below. This is why I just hate coming up here. Minus three means relative to ours is minus yes. 300, yeah, 300 feet. feet below us. There's one 400 feet yeah. above us, and there's another one 200 feet below us over there. Yep. And the arrow shows the direction oh, no. they're travelling. So oh, we are in the centre. We are yes. heading that way. They're moving yeah. away from us. The one is actually above us. Coming. Yep. All right. Converging. Now, can you see the pipeline just down?